Hi guys, this is Sebastian from TechCentury, the channel where I help you make the right purchasing decision. Welcome to my full review of the Yaba V9 projector that offers a ton of features for its price, but has one potential deal breaker you must be aware of before you purchase. So to start off, let's take a closer look at the key specifications. This is a 1080p Full HD projector with 500 angiolumens of brightness. It has autofocus, Wi-Fi 6, up to a 300-inch projection diagonal and auto keystone correction. Moving on to the price and availability, the V9 currently retails for around $349, which is a steal and you can find my affiliate links below. Inside the box you find a sweet backpack to carry the projector, a manual, tool and cleaning cloth, a DC cable, the remote, an HDMI and a V cable. Overall I love the accessories that Yaba provides and they really stick out to me, especially the backpack is amazing and this makes purchasing a third party carrying case obsolete and allows you to easily carry the projector, the accessories and even a Fire TV stick. If you enjoy the video, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments which product I should review next. Taking a look at the build quality, it's overall good. The projector case is mainly made out of plastic and it's lighter than you would think and it features a motorized zoom of the lens. It has a good amount of cooling vents, the buttons on top feel good, very clicky, but the HDMI ports on the back are really close together, so if you use a Fire TV stick, it can block the other HDMI port. Taking a closer look at the other ports, on this side you have the DC in, on the back you have two USB, two HDMI and AV in, AUX output and an IR receiver. Moving on to the controls on the top, there you can find the power on and off switch which is illuminated, up, down, right and left, an OK, back and input switch button. The integrated speakers are loud and sound quite hollow to be honest, the bass is lacking and I wouldn't recommend watching a movie on them, in a pinch they are great to have, but for all other occasions I would recommend using a Bluetooth speaker, Bluetooth headphones or the AUX output to improve your audio quality. Moving on to the OS, there's custom OS on here with no app support, no app store, it has USB, AirPlay and Miracast playback but the AirPlay never worked well with our iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 11. Taking a closer look at the settings, there are Wi-Fi settings to choose which network you want to connect to, Bluetooth settings to connect to headphones or speakers, focus settings for manual or autofocus, keystone settings for manual or auto keystone correction, projection direction to flip the image, a screen zoom, other settings and the system updates so you can make ODA updates here on this projector. The remote is well built has all the necessary buttons including focus controls and it's similar in size to Fire TV stick remote. Moving on to the picture quality, it's surprisingly sharp for only being 1080p. The 500 enzylums of brightness are not enough for daylight situations, but great at dawn and night. There's a slight yellow cast at the bottom of the image and contrast can be lacking. Viewing angles are of course great. Talking about gaming, thanks to the low input lag, the projector is also good for gaming, no matter if you're playing racing or sport games, and it works well, for example, with an Xbox. My general thoughts on this projector, it's amazing and mind-blowing for the price. Unfortunately, there's no HDCP support, can be a challenge for Netflix, low latency is good for gaming, AirPlay unfortunately unreliable, and I love the included backpack that also has enough space for the remote, for example, and it's very flexible due to the eight, two HDMI ports, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, of course. And my verdict is that the V9 offers an incredible value for its price, but the lack of HDCP can be a deal breaker for some. I highly recommend using the projector in combination with a Fire TV stick or similar so that you can use all your favorite apps while adding a minimal amount of bulk. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I hope to see you next time.